Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. I have Kesav with me. Not Kesav, we have some questions. Yes, sir. Today I have uh, from some of your friends. Yes, sir. Three questions. Mm. Who have seen most of you on Anand Sir videos? Mm. So they got uh, so much questions to ask. Mm. But today I came up with three questions, sir, which are mostly asked by your followers. Mm. That is, uh, I will read the message, sir, mm. to you. I am a Manipetu follower for more than three years. Mm. I have learned the basics of stock market and invested in Tiffin Coffee range and saved around mm. 10 lakh in this three years and moved that into bonds. Mm. Now my question is, signaling about taking a look at Japanese stocks, mm. would like to know more on this and how to buy it. Is it whether we need to buy ADR of those stocks which are listed in Wall Street or buying directly in Japanese stock market? If so, how can we do it? Under the message, he also uh, sends the family background. That he don't need to Yes, okay, sir. Mm. That's not relevant. Okay, sir. Mainly, he wants to talk about his uh, the question, right? Yes, sir. No question in the family background. Is there a question in the family background? No, sir. Just uh, okay. as you said, uh, you yeah. want to give me the details. No. They no. are now messaging me like this, sir. Yeah, that is for if I'm reading it and I'm replying one to one to know the details. Ah, okay, sir. I don't need to talk. What is publicly? Okay, sir. Unless they have permission from them to say publicly, they're going to talk about. <laughs> done, sir. Done. <laughs> right. So, what are ADRs first? American Depository Receipts, right? Yes. Sir. What is that? Sir, it is. That a... is. I know you don't know, so I'm telling. No, sir. ADR. You know? No, no, no. I don't know, but uh, ADR is. I think so. I read your article. Little, mm -hmm. little, sir. Mm -hmm. I think ADR is like a way to buy stocks in the American market. I think so, sir. Is it right, sir? It's like it that. is a way to buy oh. foreign companies in the American stock market. Oh. So the way it works is there's a foreign company share, which, okay, sir. okay, which wants to be listed in U.S. stock market. Mm. One of the ways they enter the U.S. stock market is known as ADRs. What happens is, is there's a custodian bank okay, sir. in the foreign company's uh, country. Mm. They'll be holding the shares mm. which are going to be traded in the ADR. Then a US based depository bank makes units, buys the thing bulk shares from this foreign bank, which is the custodian, and they make it into units. Okay, sir. Like we should from mm. ADR units. And either the ADRs can be to one to one share mm. or it can even be in smaller units. Okay. Okay. Sir. And there's a currency conversion in this. So the main reason is this it's all denominated in US dollars. Okay, sir. So since it's listed in US dollars, it makes it easy for American investors to know without doing currency conversion mm. in dollars and green and right? things in US dollars. Price is traded in US dollars. Mm. So every day it's listed in US dollars. So yes, it's sir. very easy. It's like buying an American company. For them, easy to track. Honestly, sir. Right. Mm. And even the stuff like stock splits and dividend payouts, it all is managed by the US based depository bank. Ah. So it's like a mutual fund. In a weird, strange way. Yes, sir. So, what your person is asking is, so when I buy American Japanese stocks, what do I do? So, what we are saying is, instead of buying it in Japanese stock market, mm. that means you'll have to open a broker, find a brokering company which allows you to buy in Japan. Yes, sir. Or open a account in a Japanese firm which does foreign investors, mm. and then convert to yen and mm. go through all this struggle. Most of the world already buys in the American stock market. Mm. It's one of the most traded uh, stock markets. Mm. So if you can buy it there, it's very easy. And the rules are very transparent for Indians. Uh -huh. We know how the taxation rules work mm. and everything works. So it makes sense. Like why ADRs are listed for Americans is for keep everything in US dollars. So you know how your investment uh -huh. is going. Same way for an Indian investor, since you already know how to buy an American stock market, you're getting exposure into the US stock market through the American mm. stock market. You understand? Mm. So it's very easy for you. Instead of learning every single rule over all over again and learning multiple ways to invest, and you have to know what you're doing. Mm. Yes, sir. And you have to be very careful and keep information abreast. Mm. It's easier to go through one gate. Correct. That is a gatekeeper. Mm -hmm. And so you know those rules for entry. So it's very easy to manage. So that is why we recommend buying Japanese companies through the American stock market in eight years. Mm. Unless you have a very specific Japanese company you want, which is not listed in the American stock market mm. as an ADR, then you will have no option but to go to the Japanese the stock, stock market, market and buy. It. But we are not looking at any special company. We are looking broadly at the big Japanese companies which are already listed. Correct. Because the same thing, if it's a small 
company in Japan mm. to analyze that and see what the potential is, especially if it's only dealing in the domestic market. It's very hard to come to any kind of idea. So it's better to avoid those kinds of things. Understood, sir. I hope that answers the question. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, the second question is, uh, Hi, I am a big fan of Anand Srinivasan, sir. Mm. Why can't you make a video about mm. if parents start investing rupees 10,000 every month for a kid of age 15, for the next 10 to 15 years, if invested, what will be the end result at the age of his 30? Okay. This was asked by a couple, sir. Okay. First of all, <coughs> there are no guarantees. Ah. Right. You can be investing for the next 15 years. Mm. Right. Everything is going great. On the 14th year, pandemic happens and the stock market crashes. Crash. Ah. Okay. Ah. Your investment of 15 years will take a correction. It's Correct. not gone, wiped out, mm -hmm. but it will take a correction and might take time to recover. Right? So, understand that. Mm -hmm. When we say 15 years long-term invest mm -hmm. and forget about it and all that, we just generally mean that if everything goes smoothly, mm -hmm. without any big thing, as long as you stay invested, even during the World War and Depression, if you see, if you keep riding through the crisis, when you come out on the other side, you still gain. So, this 15 years... You should be flexible. Mm. That's the most important thing. When your son is turning 30, it may be 31. You will have to wait. Mm. Some correction is there. Or maybe for some reason, you might even have to pull it out at 29. So, so that flexibility, you should always keep in mind when you're investing. Right. right. So that much breathing room, you should always have in your investment. Mm. You should not say on oh, this specific date, I need to take it out. With something like that, then you should be very careful in your investment. Mm -hmm. And you should tell your financial planner, on this specific date, I need to encash it and I need this much for sure. So then you tell me a plan. But so, whatever we do, we can't say that we can get... No, sure. Uh -huh. But at least you'll sure keep that in mind when uh -huh. making a plan. Also, so now let's say you're putting 10,000 rupees. Now we have assumed he's not told us where to put the 10,000 rupees. Yes, 10,000 rupees of gold every month you can be buying. Mm. So we do not know. So let's assume that since we are stock market, we're talking about mutual funds. Mm. And you passively so. index in the index fund. We say over a period of 15 years, the index will probably give around a 12%. Okay. Right? And another thing I'm assuming is he will increase his investment from 10,000, 10% every year. Yeah. To at least keep up with inflation. Ah. Okay. Sir. Because he also, his wife will also be getting salary increments. Mm -hmm. So this year, whole year 10,000, next year it will be 11,000. Mm -hmm. like that will keep on going up. And if we do that for 15 years, at 12%, you can look at almost at around 86, 87 lakhs is what their child will have at the age of 30. 30. Yeah. So imagine <coughs> when you were 15 years old, you have yeah. mommy, daddy, they did for you. When you're on your 30th birthday, they give you okay. a check for 87 lakhs. Lakhs. Yeah. 87, 86 <coughs> lakhs. In case I will say, I'm not working in one day. <laughs> I'm retired. I don't want to marry. I don't <laughs> retire. I'll just invest this. Whatever I get from this, I will be very happy. I can keep buying one iPhone every year. Set. Life is set. Thanks. Thanks, man. Days me. <laughs> but talk about a birthday gift now, huh? Netaji. So, but for this, we have to be disciplined. Extremely. It's very difficult. Anyone who has done any form of habit formation will know this. Mm -hmm. This is not quitting cigarette. Mm. This is voluntarily doing something. This is saying for the next 15 years, I will go to the gym every day. That I will work out every day. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult because life happens. Yes, sir. Life gets in the way. So keep that in mind. It is nice to set this as a goal to motivate yourself. But the important thing is to be kind to yourself and to be mindful and to realize it's a journey and not to take it serious. Yeah, with hard rules. Mm -hmm. Keep yourself a little bit of flexibility. And if there's an opportunity to reach your goal sooner, let's say you get a bonus or a windfall and get a new job and you're able to change your investment from 10,000 to 20,000 rupees to reach that goal, then do that. But it should be goal-based. I would say your goal should not be time-based. Saying that I want to retire when I'm 65, so I want to save. That's not a goal. That's like saying I have 30 liters of petrol in my tank, I just want to drive. That's not a goal. Mm, the goal yes, is sir. saying before, yes, you have 30 liters, but mm. where do you exactly want to go? So this person, mm. Kishore, should mm. be thinking, when my son turns 30, I want to give him X amount of cash in his hand. Mm. Or I want to enable him to go to college. Or I want to buy him a car or buy a flat. That is a goal. 
then you can work it backwards. Say, mm-hmm. I want to buy a house for him when he turns 30, 4, 5 crores for 180 lakhs, 1 crore. Then mm-hmm. work it backwards and then have a plan. This is just Chuma doing shooting breeze, as my father says. I put one rupee in the do- uh, undi every day and how much will I have? So, I'm doing one calculation like that. You can open SIP calculator and just spend your entire day doing calculations. Mm-hmm. We all make plans like that. Every day, if I go to the gym and I cut down 200 calories and then you do this and I do that, I will be like around Dwayne Johnson in two years. But till you do it, you do not know how yes, difficult that's it is. That's the question. It's Correct. like everyone wants to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. We don't realize how much he works. What all he had to give up mm-hmm. to be Dr. Dwayne Johnson. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Next question. Mm. Next this is the last question. question. Yes, sir. Mm. This is the last question. Next question is, Hi, bro. I'm Sri Hari. Hope you are doing good. Your progress of learning is too good, bro. We know and Anand, sir. Videos are very informative and good guidance for the beginners like me. I have a query regarding Bajaj Auto. Till now, I don't have share in Bajaj Auto. I'm going to purchase a bike with my savings. Can I invest a portion of my savings in Bajaj Auto now? And during buyback, can I sell for profit short term? Whether my view is right or wrong. Can you share this question to Vinod sir or Anand sir and share their answer to me? It will be helpful for me a lot. Thanks in advance. This is the question sir. You want me to give a short answer or no? No sir. Short answer sir. Because no. I think... Uh, no. We did... I already spoke about this. I did a video. So, what's his name? Uh, Sri Hari sir. Sri Hari should go check out the video. It's in Meerich. Where I spoke about this. Specifically about this. Why you should not buy Bajaj. As an investor, if you already have shares, mm. you can mm. consider. Mm. If you do not have any Bajaj Auto shares, please do not do this. Okay. Because there's something known as buyback ratio. Ah. And this buyback ratio, which Bajaj Auto is announcing, only favors the promoter and not the investor. And I've wrote a medium piece also. Okay. In detail, mm-hmm. the calculation to explain why that ratio is very poor mm-hmm. as a speculation. And that's why you should not do it. Okay. And so, the motivation why Bajaj is also doing this also written in that article. So I, I beseech Mr. Sri Hari to go read or at least see the video and to understand why. And if he doesn't want to see the video and he doesn't want to read and he just wants the answer, the answer is don't. Don't do it. Yes, sir. Because there's no guarantee. Okay, you put your money and you're hoping to make some windfall and things can turn sideways very fast in the market. And all the money you save to buy that bike would vanish. See, this is what I mean again and again. Mm. You have a goal. You're saving, working towards that goal. Yes. Stay on your road. Mm. Don't get sidetracked with some news in the market. It's like your mother sends, she gives you 50 rupees in this case. Sir, I need to make lunch today. Mm. Go buy two kilos of potato and come. And as you're walking to the vegetable store, you see outside some nice looking brinjal. And you're like, huh, I feel like eating brinjal today. So I'll buy it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then you go back home and you show it to your mother, Mummy, I bought brinjal instead of but your what mother it? will give you a slap on your head and say, Dude, your father is allergic to brinjal, why did you buy it? Sir, but many times you told me that uh, if you heard a word like short term, sir. Most of uh, the members in my DMs are asking for short terms like uh, can I buy Bajaj? You Auto cannot now? invest in the market in the short term. That is known as trading or it is known as gambling. Mm-mm-mm. Buying put and buying option. Ah. I'll quickly flip it. Today I saw HDFC bank share crash by 7%. Tomorrow it will definitely go up. So I'll buy 10. I'll put all my savings right now, buy 5 lakhs worth of HDFC share. Tomorrow it will definitely go up by 5%. I'll sell it quickly and make 5 lakh, 5,000, 5 lakh, 10,000. Much better than the person. Ah, so much of yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Then what will you do if HDFC banks continues to crash for another two days? And you have to return the five lakhs. And one time, two time, you might get lucky and might get away with it. Mm-hmm. The third time you get wiped out, what will you do? I know so many people are asking me. I know so many people have bought Bitcoin. They have Bitcoin, they don't know how to sell it. The money is locked. The rules changed. Indian mm-hmm. government was not strict on Bitcoins before. Then the Indian rules have changed on Bitcoin. That guy is, was daydreaming in between. Now five, six lakhs are stuck. What will you do? What can you do? Same way, these things can change. Like what ham- Hindenburg report came out. You have been buying Adani share. Mm-hmm. Adani share crashes 5%. You mm-hmm. buy, okay? And you're waiting for tomorrow, it's going to recover. Then the news comes out about the Hindenburg. Mm-hmm. And then suddenly it drops by 15% and stays there. It took so long for it to recover. We can't have Yeah, that. your money is stuck now. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. So short term, when you especially if you have a specific time or date, you need the money out. And you're better off buying treasury 
bills and sitting on it right or put in bonds mm-hmm. treasury bills is the most liquid otherwise gold but gold also i will not say because gold corrects and you might get hammered so best is we need a very short few months now you might as well keep in your account that's not investing mm. We're just trying to see if we can make a quick buck somewhere. Ah, yes, sir. It's like that most of the buying not it. Ah, yes, sir. Because uh, honestly, I didn't know about uh, Bajaj Auto shares and all, sir. But when I read this message, uh, I thought I will say no because uh, he told me that uh, can I buy on buyback and I sell for profits for short term. We already did a video like uh, how buybacks can you can hit anybody both the ask extremes. Advice sir. on short term, you can say no, okay, sir. Ah. That you can that definitely blindly say. Yes, sir. If okay. anybody says. Everything yes. they say at the end, if there's any short term involved in that, mm. then just say no. Okay, sir. But I can give you a second. Okay, sir. Done, sir. Okay. Ah. Short term, can I buy dollars? No. Mm. Short term, can I do this? No. Okay, sir. Because what it means is that person who's ever asking you that question, mm. they themselves know that they need to return that money in a very short period of time. Mm-hmm. They're not saying open ended question mm. that they can go long. Ah, correct. So when a person saying short term. They know that they need to return this money on a specific time date, which is very short. So that's why. They so need you to. can take it for a given. Something can go wrong. Don't risk it. Okay, sir. Done. Like I always say, mm. loan always has to be paid. Ah. Okay, investments can be paused. Yes, sir. Like that mummy daddy who wants to buy for their son. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Father loses job, he can pause the investment. Hmm. But if he has taken a loan, there's no way he can pause it. He has to pay. He mm. has to sell his shirt and pay. That's why never take. Ah, sir, sir. Okay. Yeah. Sir. Thanks, Kesav. That was a very interesting conversation. Yes, sir. Still, I have so much uh, DM, sir. Like tomorrow, this tomorrow we'll do another feed. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Done, sir. Okay. Thanks for watching the podcast, guys, and we'll see you in the next one soon. Bye. Bye.